Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at IP version 6. In particular within IPv6 we're going to be taking a look at IPv6 tunneling. And in this example we're going to look at IPv6 IP tunnel. And what this is, is it will allow us to tunnel our IPv6 networks over an existing IPv4 network. So in this example what we're going to do is we're going to set up some loopbacks on router 1 and router 2 to simulate customer networks running IPv6 and then what we're going to do is we're going to tunnel these networks through our over our IPv4 network here that connects router 1 to router 2 that is running IP version 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we would configure this type of IPv6 tunnel and then what we're going to look at is some show commands along with some debug commands to show us the proper implementation and that we've configured everything properly. So let's go ahead and get into the configuration portion. Let's go on to router 1 and first we'll set up the connection between R1 to R2. We'll just go and what we have here in our topology we just have serial 00, zero that's connecting router 1 to router 2. And we'll give it the IPv4 address of 192.168.12.1 with the slash 24 subnet mask. We'll go ahead and do a no shut on the interface. Again, router 1 is using the dot 1. Router 2 is using the dot 2 IP address on the 12 network, on the IPv4 network here. And we'll go to router 2 now. And we will also go into its serial 00 interface, which connects it to router 1. And we'll do, we'll give it the IP address 192.168.12.2 with slash 24 subnet mask. And we'll no shut the serial interface. And so, what we're going to do in this lab is we're going to be tunneling again. We're going to be tunneling our IPv6 networks over our existing IPv4 network. And the tunnel type we're going to be using here is IPv6 IP. And this is going to allow us to do this implementation. So we're going to verify that it, this is working properly by being able to ping from end to end, from loopback to loopback, or from customer IPv6 network to our other customer IPv6 network. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and ping across our connection between router 1 and router 2. Just to make sure we have reachability. And we do here. 